Buccaneer, this is the bar. Since we're waiting for our cordial invitation to Mary Kelly's tasteless theme party, we can finally get back to what really matters, solving the mystery of Zero Day. Who are they, and why did they frame DedSec for the bombings? What do we have, Bagley? Glad you asked. Today, the great AI detective has two leads for his dog's body politic. Obviously, Albion needs looking into, but I also have a more unusual thread for you to pull on. There's a new hacktivist group on the dark web scene called the 404. But instead of being in it for the lulls, this lot seems to be in it for the brutal reshaping of society by any means necessary. Sounds like anyone you know. All right, I have some options. I've marked both on your optic. Alice, render us all obsolete. And we won't need humans at all, because look at the bad things that are happening now. What is the common denominator behind all of them? I don't know, Andy, tell me. All the bad things that are happening now, all the bad things... I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. <laughs> then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BNC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. So we're confronting the head of the PMC that has been controlling London. I can do that. Where to? Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Nothing happens. So the good diplomacy is indistinguishable from him doing absolutely nothing. You are listening to the club. Four thousand new dream jobs for everyone. All I can say, Alice, is that I'm great at study drama. That's cool. Because that has set them up for life in modern Britain. That's the one core skill they need, the ability to pretend that they are living happy and fulfilled lives, that they have jobs that are worth doing and that they're making the planet a better place, and that they control their own destinies, and that they have even a parody of a private life, and that they can smile without crying. A drama teaching them to do, crucial skills in this day and age. Of course, it's not just uh, the jobs that have been technologicalised beyond all recognition, it is also all reality. Uh, thanks once again to Optic. Uh, according to Bloom, the Optic system is the most secure it's ever been and uh, well of course I mean, it's so convenient optic, isn't it? it makes saves us so much time and hassle trying to exist in a kind of realm of reality we need to bother with that i mean sure the government has hacked into my soul and now basically monitors my every waking moment and thought but at least i don't have to type where's my nearest coffee shop into a search engine at least i don't have to waste anything between eight and twelve seconds every day going online to look up how to make a bowl of muesli and at least i'm not fritting away my precious mental energies thinking what do i actually think Optic is so secure and it's more secure than teenage girls. Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Which is very suspicious. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Balaji. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the Niger Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. 
Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellardi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellardi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. affairs, quietly of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Okay, let's get introduced. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security, and before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Fucking paranoid. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Right, got it. The main interface is on the rooftop. Could I use the windows up there as an access point? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home and resolve to be a better person. I'm on it. kind of impressed with just how many traps he's got set up in here. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. 
I'm on it. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change.
traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. needs to inform the police. Muscle Chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Okay, let's calm down and talk. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Albion doesn't take resistance fighters. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Wait, wait, stop. Albion knows your location. You have to run. Now. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, Cuss is worse than you know. Yes, we already know this. Come on, why else would I come here otherwise? Maybe, cause Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking Merck's work. Listen, we want your help. Cass is no friend of ours. He tried to end us and he had a hand in the bombings. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what- No, no, no! Oh, fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck, think, Amy, think. Shit, fine. Put the table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No!
visual on the suspect. Control, I've lost the target. Control, we're returning to HQ. Over. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. Yeah.